Thank you, everybody. Welcome to Video Marketing Success Stories. My name is Andy Glickman. I'm your host. Each week, we like to take a look at news from the video marketing world, talk with some key players in the industry to get their take on what makes things work and some various pitfalls to avoid. Today, we have with us Mari Rogo, founder and CEO of Rip Media Group, one of our frequent visitors and friends of the show. Uh, Mari, thank you. Welcome to the show. Thanks. Uh, Always great to be here. Love talking to you about these these projects that we've done and new ones that we're going to be working on. Always brings up new ideas, and um, I appreciate you having me. Great, great. Always uh, a pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, last week we uh, we kind of branched into an area of uh, a Rip Media Group where you guys had some higher end uh, clients. We always like to uh, we always like to embrace the all clients that you guys uh, enjoy and and uh, other video marketing companies enjoy throughout. But sometimes you you land the big fish, and we're always excited to hear about that. Last week we talked a little bit about LexisNexis, and I wanted to talk about a client that you had a few years ago that everybody knows, everybody recognizes, and I'm sure you guys were excited about about landing uh, Ben and Jerry's. And uh, it was a very exciting video that you guys did for them, practically a, 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 a history of, of Ben and Jerry's, and, and it was uh, really interesting to watch. So I wanted to uh, talk to you today about how you land a client like Ben and Jerry's, and then how you dive into the process of coming up with something that tells their story, and obviously something that, uh, that they liked. That's great. Thank you for asking. So yeah, like you, you know, I, I respect every single one of our clients out there. I and mean, there's, you know, we don't survive if it's not for the, the clients that, you know, the kind of the enterprise or the regional customers that, you know, maybe the world hasn't heard of like Ben and Jerry's or Comcast or Cisco. But if it wasn't for all of those folks that we love working with that are fighting and struggling to, you know, not to say survive, but to grow and grow, um, you know, we wouldn't be here. So love those folks. But those folks, you know, those customers do take a look at those big marquee customers. And I think a lot of them say, you know what? We saw your work with Ben and Jerry's. We see that you work with Comcast and we know how difficult it can be to work with some of those huge customers that have these decision chains that are 15 people long and, you know, how precise you have to be with the branding and all this kind of thing. So I feel like putting those big names out there and talking about them lets people know that aren't, you know, Ben and Jerry's, you know, it might be Bob and Joe's ice cream shop, you know, right. that kind of thing that they know, well, Rip Media Group, Mario Rogo, the gang there, they really do a good job with the big customers. So they'll knock it out of the park with us. And so that's one of the reasons we kind of like to talk about these guys and I'm happy to talk about them and, and show their work as well as everybody's work on our website and the, you know, the Vimeo page and all that kind of thing. Excellent, excellent. So how exactly, let's see, first of all, take us back to when this was, uh, uh, how, how many years ago, and then how did it come about that you even landed on their radar? Yeah, so, um, you know, honestly, I don't remember how long ago it was because we've been working with them very regularly. I think the last uh, project we did was just, uh, you know, was just a few months ago. And a lot of the work that we do is what's called white label or private. Um, but we do have some public videos as well. And I'm, I'm happy to, to share some of that with you and with whoever's listening here and that kind of thing in the, in the show notes. There's some really awesome pieces of the project. But it really came across from, um, it, was, it was like one of these amazing stories. So I was in San Francisco just on a, a trip up to visit family. And uh, we were going to go to a baseball game. I park in front of a, uh, you know, park in front of a, like on the street, because we're getting to the game late. And I, uh, you know, there's the parking is terrible there. And you know, it's a big city park in front. And I look up and there's a, there's an advertising agency, you know, logo right there. I'm like, Oh my gosh, I've heard of those guys. This is this is mechanism. The name is mechanism. And they're really well known for really edgy campaigns, really beautiful visuals working with some really great clients, that kind of stuff. And it was just in the back of my head, like, wow, that was neat. You know, I, I gotta, I gotta reach out and talk to those folks. And this is one of those karma things. You know, we go to the game, have a good weekend. On Monday, I get a phone call from somebody at that agency that said they had seen our work, right? Not me, not my car parked out there. <laughs> They'd seen our work and they think that we would be a good fit for this project that they have because they get very, very busy. They do beautiful work, but they get overloaded sometimes or uh, they hit points where there's a style or a look 
that isn't exactly uh, you know right up their alley. So they asked if we could work with them, and of course the answer was yes. Didn't even know who the customer was at that point, but I said, yeah, I would love to be able to work out a partnership with you because we do a lot of um, you know a lot of work in hand in hand with uh, with agencies and white label work with agencies depends on the relationship that they have with their customer. And in this case, you know, it turned out that uh, they liked our work. We spoke back and forth. We talked about our vision for different projects and our steps in the, in the uh, production cycle. And they thought it fit perfectly within how they operate. And the next phone call was with their creative director. And uh, they finally told me the name of the account. And I almost jumped out of my socks. You know, that was, that was fantastic. We had to work with a company that, you know, that focused on, you know, really good for the earth. You know, these two guys that have really done good things over, you know, their history. And then I find out this video is for their, um, basically for their museum. So it's the manufacturing plant where they make all the ice cream, but they they have, they do tours there and they want to have a, you know, as you walk into different museums, even, you know, the national, you know, gallery and the Smithsonian museums in Washington, DC, they have videos up on the walls that show you some history and tell you about, you know, who they are and, and how far they've come and why you're standing in that spot. So they, uh, they said that's what they wanted to do and you know, could we help out? So we went back and you know, did some brainstorming and did some brainstorming with the really creative and smart people there. And we came up with this whole history of you know, Ben and Jerry's ice cream, a really unique look. We got to work with Woody the cow, that, you know, the, the cow's their spokesperson. And um, you know, we, we actually had put it in our pitch to them you know, kind of we put some graphics together, did a treatment deck and pitched it back to them. There was one of the lines and you should, I'll actually put a link in here, but it's really adorable. We're like, you know, we're going to avoid using puns because that sort of humor is utterly ridiculous <laughs> with the utterly being, you know, just like the cow's utter. So I just thought that was adorable. So put that out there to them. They chose us and we started working on the project and it was really a, just, you know, was and is a really great piece of work that's worked for them, you know, nonstop um, for, for, you know, years now with, up, you know, touches and updates and things like that. So really, really some, some great concepts we came up with. They're very fun stuff. Now, a lot of it I noticed is very much in line with their brand style. Uh, did they provide a lot of that look and feel in terms of assets or was that just something that you replicated in the design? So it's a, it's a great question. So, you know, a brand like Ben and Jerry's and a lot of the bigger brands, their guidelines are very strict. So there are certain things, even with this particular cow, you know, the, the, you know, the, the spokesperson in our pitch, the back to the moocher instead of back to the future, you know, that cow can be in certain positions, certain poses. It can wear certain types of clothing, cannot wear certain types of clothing, can wear a hat, can't wear a hat, you know, that kind of thing. So they have really strict guidelines on their particular brand assets, but then the world around it, the world that exists was really up to, you know, us to create, to match their style, to make it look like, you know, if you take, for example, switching to Homer Simpson, if you take Homer Simpson and you put him in you know, a world of a Pixar movie, it's going to look really odd. You know, it's not going to look like he belongs there at all. You know, it's that different look. They have the long chins. They have the small, you know, whatever it is. So, you know, there it is. There's Homer Simpson. So they sort of gave us the Homer Simpson and said, create the world around him. So there are a lot of, you know, a lot of assets that they gave us. Certainly the, you know, some pictures and photos. They had hundreds and hundreds of these of their founders of the manufacturing plant but how to texturize them, how to light them, how to use the color, you know, that kind of thing to make sure that their cow, their people, their look and feel fit into this world that we wanted to create was very, you know, very much a happy challenge. So they gave us certain assets and we created the rest to really match and create this, this world for them. And you created this really fascinating, almost like paper overlay. Talk a little bit about the way the, the way some of the the imagery sort of rolls onto the screen as if it's as if it looks like a piece of paper. I mean, for the for the Ben and Jerry's brand, like I had certainly never seen. I maybe have seen it Ben and Jerry's commercial, uh, you know, broadcast commercial. I don't remember seeing that type of visual. So I don't know if that is specific to their brand. Was that something that you came up with, or that they uh, dictated to you? Yeah, so no, it was, uh, it was something that they were looking for, but they hadn't seen anywhere before. So I'd say in the discovery process, it came out that, you know, there's different ways we could put this together. 
you know, we were really known at that point um, for, you know, really sort of advanced whiteboard animation. So not just kind of like, you know, like pencil on paper stuff, but really high end art, you know, moving and doing different things. For instance, you know, if you create or draw something that's very high end and then that piece comes to life or moves around on the screen, you know, we were doing a lot of work in that area and really getting well known for it. So they loved that look, but it was more of a, a question or a challenge that we worked out together. So I think we came up with this together with their, their creatives and, and ourselves on how we can make this move. So you're right. We have a very texturized, you know, sort of whiteboard world or the kind of uh, like I really it's a it's basically it's a paper cutout world is what it looks like with these really advanced, really great, um, you know, some of them are flat out, you know, pulled from life, you know, pulled from photographs. We make everything match it. And then we made it look like they're being laid on to the canvas to tell this story. So Mari, do you have any uh, resources you could recommend to our listeners that they can uh, check out either through your website? or some other way? Sure, absolutely. There's, there's some great resources that we put together out there. So three that come to mind really quick. One is uh, the video bot, T-H-E, video bot, like robot. The video bot helps people make their own videos in seconds. And it's a resource that we've been using really successfully and our customers have been using. So, you know, you want to get back in touch with that cold lead or, you know, the person that hasn't gotten back in touch with you, or you just want to do some outreach. Um, or even wish somebody, you know, happy birthday, happy holidays. There are videos sitting in there waiting for you to personalize and you can literally do it in seconds and send it out. And there is a free, it's free for the first period of time. So that's a great resource. Second, um, if I'll give you a link to this, but this is basically a, um, uh, basically it's called the uh, Create the Salesperson That Never Sleeps. And this was actually compiled from all the frequently asked questions that we've had over the years from different customers of ours. So we put all those FAQs together and then turned it into a scorecard and a way to create your own best video marketing message and just marketing messages. So if you go there, you click on it, it's a free download, you know, kind of download this workbook. You know, it's, I think it's six pages, you know, nothing too laborious. You know, it's not going to take you a year to go through, you know, maybe a few minutes or half an hour and you will have a great roadmap for what you should be setting up as far as your company's best story. So that is uh, creating the salesperson that never sleeps. And then the last thing is, uh, you know, ways to promote your video or your story. There's another link that I can get you. And I believe that infographic is the, the 10 best ways to uh, promote your video and your story. And I'll give you a link there. So those are the three things I can think of quickly. And um, happy to, you know, share more if you hit us up on our website at ripmediagroup.com. So I think we should put the video link in the notes as well so people can, can watch this right. and see what we're talking about. Maybe even throw some B-roll over top or something. Um, but you can see it all come to life there. And it was truly a collaboration. How can we make this happen? How do we make it different in each scene so it doesn't look like it's the same sort of entrance and exit? Transitions are very important and really get that texture right. So it looks like this, you know, like painted on canvas world is what we were going for. Absolutely. And it's a great look. And I think you, I think you pulled it off beautifully Thank and, you. It, and it's, and it's a long story too. It's, it's not one of your, uh, uh, you know, short, quick videos uh, in and out goodbye. It's, it's the story of Ben and Jerry's, which obviously is, uh, lends itself to uh, several minutes of, uh, of a lot of talking. So uh, yet another uh, great project for the uh, RIP Media Group uh, library. Uh, and we thank you for sharing the story about it. And for, for our listeners who are uh, interested in uh, more stories like Ben and Jerry's or the specific Ben and Jerry's story, uh, as Mari said, we'll include uh, a link uh, on our site uh, in recapping this show. And you can take a look at the video there. And uh, feel free to reach out to RIP Media Group if you have any uh, questions or interests in uh, other videos just like that. Uh, wouldn't you agree, Mari? Yeah, thank you so much. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, I'll, I'll provide you some links of you know the treatment that we talked about a little bit. You know our pitch, maybe even you know the script, and then of course the final video, so we can we can integrate that into your uh, into your notes. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us on Video Marketing Success Stories. I'm Andy Glickman, your host, with Mari Rogo, CEO and founder of RIP Media Group. If you want more information on RIP Media Group, check them out at ripmediagroup.com. You can see uh, samples of their work and check out their blogs for even more tips. Thank you and have a great day.